Hi, this is Clay Dixon, and join me is Grayson Brookshire. We are off with the boys 3A Kentucky State High School Athletic Association cross country meet. We have a 244 expected finishers today. Grayson, tell us about today's competition. Well, we have your defending state champion, Brennan Fields, who ran 1554 here last year. We have Matthew Thomas, who ran 1534 at regionals. He's your top regional time. Um, we have a lot of we have the Dowdy twins as well in this one, and they've just been performing really well all year. With uh, Cole has a season best of 1521, and Tanner about around a 1534. So we'll be looking for those four to be up front. Uh, the team battle it looks like it's going to be between Saint X, South Oldham, and Trinity and Eastern. Really excited about this one today. We've got 13 runners from last week go sub 16 at their regional meets so this is going to potentially going to be the fastest state meet you will ever see or have ever seen sorry uh, years to come who knows the Kentucky st or states just getting stronger and stronger uh, you see a flood of runners just running through they just looks like they're sprinting compared to other races these are the big boys here class 3A we got Let's see. Also, look out for Yara Nagus. He's one of your top regional runners. He's from DuPont Manual Jr. He did 1535. Uh, of course, the Dowdy Twins. Spencer Hayden, one of your. Uh, or actually, let's just talk about the top St. X runners. We got Matthew Thomas, Spencer Hayden, Ryan Gunther, uh, Patrick Schaefer, and the freshman, Zachary Larkin. Uh, they all went sub 16 last week at regionals and that's probably one of the most impressive performances I've ever seen at regionals uh, time wise so we'll be looking out for them they barely lost out in the state title last year to South Oldham South Oldham graduate uh, I believe one of their top runners this past season so let's see if they can return and uh, take down or defend their title last year you saw a flood of Cooper come in and they all uh, graduated there big top five as they all moved on to uh, go to Eastern Kentucky and run for them. Um, Here's the mile mark. Here they're coming up and it's still a huge pack as you can see just everyone's still together at around 456 for that group uh, led by the two Dowdies. Fields right behind them. The Dowdy twins are in the white shorts green top. You see uh, Hayden Tanal, uh, another senior who has uh, been running very well. He's uh, right behind them, probably about 10th place now. Looks like uh, with the pink jersey on, is that a Tate's Creek runner? Or? Should be Alex Mortimer from Tate's Creek up there. I'm not mistaken. You see on the uh, red shorts and with the M, that is Yaron Goose, and on the uh, outside of the Dowdies, that is Fields. As they're making their turn into the second half of the course, there has been some fast times run on this course this season. Fields ran in the Lexington Catholic Invitational and posted a time of 15.38 solo. Ran all by himself from the gun and posted an incredibly fast time all alone. And then at the Franklin County Invitational, Matthew Thomas won that with a 15.19, followed by Fields in 15.21. So a little bit of speculation on how fast those times are, but we're going to see today if those, uh, if any of those guys can post those times again and her improve upon them. Those were flip flop those meets. It was the, the two uh, fast times were done at Lexington Catholic and Franklin County was uh, Fields winning solo. All right, back to our race. That's uh, still a really close pack here, and we're about one, uh, close to one and a half in. Those are the Dowdy twins. It looks like uh, I believe that is uh, the Saint X runner. Uh, blanking out here. Sorry. I believe that's uh, Matthew Thomas up front with his uh, teammate Spencer Hayden. Uh, Nagoose in there as well as they're about one and a half in. This is normally where you see the moves made on this hill. This is exactly where Fields made his big move to uh, take the win individually last year. Took it from the Dowdy Twins. I believe Tanner Dowdy came in second place last year and uh, Cole was in the top five. Uh, I believe in fourth place to be exact. Right now, I believe they were expecting that to happen, but, well, they either fended it off or no one really did it. Yeah, last year's results were 
Um, Brennan Fields winning in 1554. Tanner Dowdy, 1559. Jackson Cooper, who committed to Moorhead State, 16 flat. And Cole Dowdy, 1603. So three of those top four coming back and racing right up front. That's Fields in the lead. And as we make this turn, we saw the Dowdy twins. The Goose looks like the St. X runner, Thomas. Your top five. There's Hayden in there. And then a big gap to the next few runners. Earlier this week, we uh, heard that the Dowdies and Brennan Fields all committed to the University of Kentucky. So congratulations to them. And they're all... Uh, going to be hashing it out right now, but they're going to be teammates next year, so they're going to get to know each other really well. I saw uh, in the mix in the top ten as well, there was a, a green top and black shorts. Those are Meade County runners, Logan Greco and Z Jacob Robertson. Be looking out for those two guys as they are slowly making their way up. Uh, team race looking like St. X. They're your favorite on paper, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, right now they're looking pretty strong up front. Uh, along with South Oldham, they got a 1-2-3 punch and just looking out for that 4-5 and five runners. Meade County, they're looking pretty strong as well. And always be looking out for Davies County. And Eastern, the last this past season, they've been doing very well, so they could uh, be a dark horse today. Now back to our race. On that downhill portion, we still have four runners. They did lose the Goose. He's about 10 meters off that lead pack. He is the youngest runner in that lead group. He's only a junior. Everybody else is a senior and I believe he's uh, got a couple seniors behind him so he's uh, looking to lead his class next year if he can't hang on today. Coming through two miles and 10 flat for that leader lead pack and about 10.05 for that chase pack. So 10 flat. They're on pace uh, just a little bit slower than what we saw from Ethan, Ethan Shuley earlier today, but I think they can go even faster than Shuley because they got four or five runners right there in the mix to push each other. That's Fields, Dowdy. Looks like uh, Spencer Hayden and another Dowdy. Could be Thomas, or that could be uh, Thomas in there, the St. X runner. Looks like St. X has a lot of kids up, there, up front. With their top fives in that top 15 or so. And they're still holding on with that pack. Nagoose trying to catch back up. Uh, still a pack of four. A lot different from last year's race where Fields was just all alone at this point. And the Dowdies were chasing him. Right now it is Fields in the lead. Opening up maybe a half step or two on uh, Cole Dowdy. So with his brother Tanner right behind him, and it looks like that was either, it should be Spencer Hayden. Yeah, I believe it's him. The Dowdy Twins, they've been dominating Kentucky running, or distance running for the last, basically since their freshman year. Uh, I remember them running here probably about three years ago, and they were just running side by side as usual and just dominating the field, but uh, neither one of them has been able to just seal the deal here. And it looks like they're just, we might have it today. It's just going to be a close one. We got, I've never seen a race this close before, this deep into it. It's looking like, uh, just judging by the arms, Fields looking a little tired. Uh, I like Cole's arms movement there. He's looking pretty strong along with his brother. So let's see who has what left in the tank. And here we are with about uh, 800 meters to go. That's Cole side by side with... Brennan Fields, that's Tanner Dowdy right behind him. The Goose is about 50 meters back. And there, oh, there's Hayden right there on that lead pack. Looks like uh, another St. X runner, but it's going to be very interesting on these how this finish is going to end. Cole, a 9-11 two-miler, and Brennan Fields, a 4-10 miler. So we'll see who can hold it out, and that is Cole Dowdy right now who has put a huge surge in the last 400 meters, and he has a pretty decent Let lead. He's and there's his brother kick. Tanner. Tanner the Dowdies are 1 move. 2. St. X looking really strong in the team title. South Oldham as well with a 1 2 punch. See if they can finish 1 2 their senior year. Go, 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 go. 
We'll be taking you to the finish line in just a minute. See if Dowdy's can hang on to that one-two punch. And coming around three miles is Cole Dowdy with 200 meters left in the race. Cole, Tanner, Fields, followed by Thomas, uh, or excuse me, Hayden, then Thomas, then the Goose. Coming with uh, Pat just through the three mile. They are on their 14.50 through three miles. That might be a course record if they go sub 15.21. 15.21 by Jacob Thompson. It's Here's Cole close Dowdy. One. He's really going for it. He sees the time. He's going. He's going to go 15.21 is the time to beat state record. He's going to be close, and I think it's going to be 15.20, 15.21. So it's a, a championship for Cole Dowdy. And, Ooh, and Fields coming in from behind the last 100 meters. Tanner in third. It looks like Hayden. And then here comes Thomas. And the Goose, our first returner in, fifth, or in sixth place right now. Looks so like uh, behind him is Logan Greco from Meade County, another St. X runner. That's uh, Gunther. And here comes uh, Schaefer from St. X. St. X has four in. Another Meade County runner. Here comes St. X number five. St. X just, they've already won right there. There's Sam Smith from Pulaski. Looks like a Trinity runner. Looks like the uh, Tanal from. South Oldham, there's uh, Marcos Macias coming in from, I believe that's uh, Graves County. Flood of runners coming through. I saw another St. X, looks like a Central Harden runner, Simon Kenton. This is easily the fastest we've seen here at the state meet course. Um, you have your, your top nine all under 16 flat. Your top eight times are all faster than what Brendan Fields won with last year in 1564 and you saw a course record uh, by Cole Dowdy in 1520. So. 1530 by Brendan Fields and 1532 by Tanner Dowdy. St. Xavier just destroying. I've never seen a team go this fast before. Every uh, The top four on their team could have won state individually a few years ago. We had uh, Hayden, uh, Thomas, Gunther, and Schaefer at the times of 30, 15, 33, 38, 52, and 59. And then, of course, Zachary Larkin, our first refreshman of today in 1605. So St. X still looking very strong for uh, next year. A team average of 1549. That's uh, 37 points. It's like second place is going to be going to South Oldham with a score of 87. And uh, third, fourth, and fifth have yet to be determined, but it's looking like it's going to be uh, in between Eastern Meade or Davies County. We'll just uh, see how that works out in just a minute. We'll wrap it up here in the boys' 3A state meet at the Kentucky Horse Park, which is apparently a fast course now.